need you to come over here. What's the matter? Uh, five to six pound large ball from my live ball. Ten four. I got. Dude. I... Dude, he's massive. All right, I'll be there in a sec. Right, bye. All right, solid. We made it. It is a little after midnight. New Hampshire. It's cold here. Okay. What are the odds that we are the first ones at the ramp tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> We're sleeping at the ramp. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dishes and Fishes where I show you how to cook and set hooks. We're here in New Hampshire, spent the night last night at the boat ramp, got here late last night, but uh, we're gonna be okay. I'm fired up to be out here, nice weather we got, beautiful morning, so gonna try to get on whatever fish are biting, smallmouth, largemouth, we'll see. I've never been to this lake, so let's check it out. We are here in the beautiful New Hampshire. The conditions are prime here for some smallmouth fishing. This is a huge rocky lake. Kind of just got started here, but I'm starting with a Carolina rig. This lake is a lot of enormous like sheet boulders, if you will. So I'm just dragging this thing right across the bottom. I got a zoom speed craw on the end here. Let's see what we can do. So for the Carolina rig, I'm actually using a 7.6 heavy rod. You can use a medium heavy too, but you want a long rod because when they eat it, you want to be able to sweep the rod and pick the slack up fast. I'm also using a three quarter ounce weight. This is actually a six cents pre-rig Carolina rig. I'm lazy. You can make your own too, but again, I just like to keep these on board because it's easy and quicker. The biggest thing is when you're dragging it, you can kind of do like a sweeping motion or you can slow reel it but you want to be able to decipher rock bottom versus bite. So cast it out. You can bomb it. It covers more water than a drop shot. It just makes sound when that weight hits the rocks. Yep. It goes click, 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 click. Got one. Carolina. No, it's a fish. Thirty feet. Small. Twenty. You also have to be kind of selective where you throw the Carolina rig because if you're fishing in a lake that has zebra mussels, for example, your leader's gonna get frayed and break a lot. This lake luckily is kind of like smooth chunk rock. Gets snagged a few times, but you don't get frayed and lose a lot though.
He gone. Dude, I need you to come over here. Five to six pound large mouth my live well. Alright, I'll be there in a sec. It better be five to six. <laughs> You got you got fish brain right now. Yeah, let's see this thing. That's a nice fish. I think he's five. On a drop shot in like six feet of water. Uh, eight. Five, four, six. <laughs> nice, dude. Right on the money with this guess. Here's a dead smallie. There's one. Ty Tech. There's one. Yeah. Yeah, real good. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> the dreaded smallie jump, dude. Real nice one. <sighs> nice little three and changer. It's so fun when they hit this thing, man. Jesus. Small guy. I just broke my last Carolina. Let's see what we can do. I lost my last Carolina rig, so I'm gonna try to Texas rig a speed crawl with a loose weight here and drag it. See if it does the same thing. Don't do that again. I'm making do. They just like the crawfish. Okay, well, oh. So successful day of fishing. We're gonna pass out at the ramp one last night. Two nights at the boat ramp. What's better than that? And then head back in the morning. Thanks for watching, guys. If you learned something, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll catch you in the next episode.